So yes, I recently had a hair transplant in Thailand. Now, if you are thinking about coming to Thailand, there's probably a lot of questions that you are wondering, such as how much does a hair transplant cost in Thailand? Is it worth it? Can you trust the doctors? Is it safe, etc., etc.? So don't worry because I'll be answering all of these questions today as we look into hair transplants in Thailand. So how much does it cost you to have a hair transplant in Thailand? Well, it really depends on the grafts and also the technique that you use and of course the clinic. So for example, I had 2,500 grafts in total. Now there was a standard FUE transplant method and then there was also an advanced, uh, D, I think it's DHI implanter is the name. So I decided to have that and with 2,500 grafts and the FUE plus the DHI implanter method, the total cost came to $3,300. However, if you decide just to have the typical FUE uh, method without any extra stuff, then the price in the clinic that I went to was 89,000 Thai bar to 99,000 Thai bar. I went to a place called BHC, which stands for Bangkok Hair Clinic, but there are many different clinics across Bangkok that specialize in hair transplants and you will not have a problem getting quotes and finding out how much it's gonna cost. So the question is, if you don't use the same clinic as me, how much would it cost you? Well, based on you know 2,500 graphs, um, I would say that it would be between the lowest end, which I would not recommend, but you're looking at like 79,000 Thai baht. That's at the super low end. And the higher end, you're looking at about six or 7,000 US dollars. And I say this because I researched uh, more than 10, but less than 20 clinics in Bangkok before I decided on the one that I went to. The next question is Bangkok, do you need to go to Bangkok um, in order to have a hair transplant in Thailand? Well, there are some head transplants in Phuket. I think there's one in Chiang, Chiang Mai, which is a big one and a few other places. But looking at the research, Bangkok is the best option if you're looking for a hair transplant. You can also find, you know, cheap tax, well, <laughs> cheap taxis. Taxis are not super cheap here, if I'm honest with you, especially over the last few days. But, you know, you can easily, it's accessible is what I'm trying to say. You can get to the place easily. You can get an Airbnb. There's no problem because Bangkok is just so big. So wherever the clinic is, there's no problems. And of course, if you try to book somewhere, what I'd recommend is you guys get a hotel or an Airbnb that's close to the place because you don't wanna be traveling long distances after or before your hair transplant. The thing is after the first few days, which is what I'm at now, it's, um, it's not like an embarrassing feeling, but you, don't, you, you, know, you look a bit stupid. You don't really wanna be going out in a public place when, when you're trying to heal. So being somewhere which is close to shops, but also close to where you need to be is ideal. So another question is Thailand versus Turkey for hair transplants. So both countries are super popular for hair transplants, which is best? Well, I looked at Turkey for about three or four years before I had my hair transplant uh, recently. So I did my research and I found that in fact, you know, it's not so much the place, but more the clinic and the doctor because they both offer similar services and there's got a lot of, they've got a lot of reviews and, you know, they have the kind of same uh, technology and all those kind of things. So I would say that if you are in Southeast Asia, if you're in this area, then in factoring in the costs of flights and transportation, everything, it's much cheaper to go to Thailand and you have the same service. But uh, on the other side of the coin, if you're in Europe or if you're nearer to Turkey, then going there would be better because of course it will be cheaper, you know, same as it would be in Thailand. So it really depends on what you're looking for. But what I would say is that I would not have a hair transplant in Thailand if I wasn't 100% sure that, you know, is a safe procedure and they're legitimate and everything's gonna be okay. Um, but I would also recommend you do your own research and decide what options best. So is a hair transplant in Thailand worth it? This is an awesome question. Well, I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know at the moment because I'm still waiting. But what I would say is that, uh, you know, only time will tell at the end of the day. And if you are interested, let me know in the comments and I will do a follow up, um, you know, in a few months to let you know what's going on. But uh, I would say that it is one of the best things that I ever done. As soon as I had it, I knew that I should have done it sooner. And I spoke to a lot of people who said that it was you know, awesome. I would you know, obviously just recommend, like I said, doing your own research for the clinic, seeing what's a good idea, seeing what's not. Um, it is 
fairly difficult at, you know, the, the transition between having no hair to hair. It sounds weird, but it is. Because, of course, you have to, well, after you have a hair transplant, there's a lot of care that you have to do. You have to sleep upright. Um, you know, obviously you can't touch your hair, you'll get itching, you have to wear bands. This band that I have now is to prevent head swelling because a very common side effect from a hair transplant is that people get swelling in their eyes and their forehead. Um, I'm super happy, I just want to see the results, but I can't say yet if it's, you know, if it's really truly worth it until, you know, six months down the line.